This city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Freak dealing out vigilante justice Shit. like it's the wild goddamn West. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? My butler. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. Well then. Time to save the city. Fashionable and fashionably late as always. Say hi, Bruce. Enjoy drinking my wine. It's worth more than most of you. Oh, no, he's, he's kidding, everyone. <laughs> no wine is that expensive. You are Gotham's golden sun. Let them bask in your radiant glow. You're really telling me that Bruce Wayne needs an appointment? But the mayor... Will be fine. And if he fires, he just come to work for me. Deal? He's one of the good guys. A good guy who always gets what they want. Now, in my book, there's no such thing. Someone has to be the good guy. I suppose you think that makes me a bad girl? Well, aren't you? Well, I'm everyone's friend. Which means you're really no one's. Pick a lane before you have a head-on collision. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. Chalk this for me. Whatever happened to being a gracious host? How'd you get that shiner? Bruce? 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 The owner's a prick. Bruce Wayne. Ah, uh, has he changed a bit? The sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone into your home. Seen and not heard. Whatever you... <laughs> what did I say? Harvey is the one who invited him. Bruce? Personally, I would never welcome that man into my home. Look, I'm only talking to you because Harvey asked, trusting a friend to know what's best for Gotham. Now that's a predicament. A warrant? Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can, Mr. Wayne. Says who? This warrant. And if I refuse? Well, then we might have to make a scene. That's the last thing I want. What the hell's going on? Tell me. Shh, come on, keep it down. Let's avoid making another scene, shall we? The press is already up my ass as it is. Mayor Hill authorized this? Yeah, then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. I want a mess. We are in deep shit. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. <laughs> okay, so you just do whatever Mayor Hill says. <sighs> you owe me, Harvey, and now I need your help. Those are donations, not loans. You're not entitled to a pound of flesh. Hell, I'll settle for a handshake and a blind eye. It must be nice to have a DA in your pocket, Mr. Wayne. Bend the rules whenever you need it. One hand washes the other, Lieutenant. Is that how it works? Of course. Otherwise, everyone has dirty hands. What he means is, we'll repay the favor in kind. Falcone doesn't like bad press. If I run this story, I put a price on my head. Buy a bulletproof vest. It's the dress code for reporters here. Thanks for the tip. You know, I, I'd actually hope I'd never have to meet you in person. He strikes me as well, the jealous sort. Very possessive of his toys. Better keep a low profile. Uh, didn't you see the game here, asshole? I see a monkey with a stick. Is that what you mean? What did you say? Gotham. You got some nerve! Harvey Dent appears to be hitting some potholes on his path to the mayor's office. Despite the backing of billionaire Bruce Wayne, rumors persist that the Wait a minute, I know you! You're that rich dude! Yeah, I get that all the time. It's something about the chin. <laughs> you think I'm dumb? Bruce, stop stirring up the natives and buy me a drink. Wait, what? 
<laughs> this guy's with you? Face it, Frank, you suck at pool. Why are you starting trouble over it? <sighs> nice one, Bruce. Way to keep a low profile. You dropped on your head. When the mayor of Gotham extends a hand, you take it. I don't need your hand. Not with your voice on tape. You forget who you're talking to. I'm the man that says I never left such and such a message. And all the judges bow their heads and say, yes, sir. I'm the man who sends the police to your house to take your things. And I give them to whoever I please. I know exactly who I'm talking to. I'm the man who'd throw you over this rail without a second thought, and my lawyers make this whole thing disappear before you hit the ground. <laughs> that man practically tore him in half. Gotham's watching now! Go ahead! Give him a show! Oh, oh wait! What the hell are you? Ah! Look like you tangled with the wrong guy. Goddamn Batman. So, what do you do for a living? It's complicated. High risk, high reward. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Ah, stock market, huh? <laughs> Something like that. And what are you suggesting? The bat helps the cat? And the cat helps the bat. I am an adult, Alfred. You don't have to keep tabs on me 24-7. Well, when your job involves fighting masked villains at two in the morning, then yes, I think I do. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. It's not that bad. I've been through worse. Funny. Any worse, and you'd be sent home in a body bag. No rest for the wicked. Ah, uh, hey, Harp. Jesus! Don't sneak up on people like that. I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Whoa, whoa, what is your problem? You're being a bit erratic. Yeah, I'm sorry, Bruce. I'm just a little shaky. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no. What? Question remains. How did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? We have a mole. There's no way they could have gained access without someone on the inside. Only a handful of people at the highest level could possibly find out about the back door. <laughs> it's not you. Right, Lucius? You know, I was always suspicious of this Lucius Fox character. Never see him in his usual office. I think he might be hiding something. To what do I owe the pleasure, Regina? I'm sorry, I just needed to clear my head. Sort things out. In my office? I feel hated. If the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. It's like I don't deserve it. After all, is it really a win if it's by default? Well, Gotham's last mayor was Hill, so the bar's pretty low. Can't be too hard, right? Yeah, thanks. I guess. <laughs> what? They can't fire me. It's possible they can. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? Everywhere I go, I am terrified I'll turn a corner and come face to face with the children of Arkham. Well, he sure doesn't do you any good if you keep moping in your office chair. Thanks, Bruce. Oh, Bruce, clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. If they want to play dirty, we'll play dirty. Bruce! I need security in here right now. <sighs> no, what was that This is for? a disaster. You've lost your bloody mind. Bruce, what's your opinion of the Shiner? Regina wanted me to cover it up with makeup. She doesn't think it looks very dignified. But here, I think it's a fine display of what the moral high ground looks like. Mr. Cobblepot. I don't know. The black eyes will good look for you, Oz. <laughs> really? Yeah. Shows off just how delightfully punchable that face of yours really is. Bruce! I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. I don't know. Having it easy sounds a little boring. Well, perhaps that's why you never take a vacation. She stole from you? After we opened our doors to her, why would she do this? Maybe she's just messing with me. It some kind of joke. She broke into your office and stole valuable property as a joke? She has an unusual sense of humor. Damn it. 
Hey, Bruce. If you wanted to see me, you could have just called. <laughs> the chase is so much more fun. But I know you're not here for me, are you? I don't blame you for wanting it back. Although, it only seems fair that I take something from you. You didn't give a second thought when you stole my claw. At least I had the decency to steal from you when you weren't in the next room. Maybe I just wanted a memento. <laughs> oh, that's good. I'll have to remember that one. A thief of your class doesn't need a device like that. It'd only be a crutch. <laughs> Says the man whose belt is an armory. Board of Wayne Enterprises has voted me out. At a meeting, I was not invited to attend. Stop trying to save face. The board is more concerned with good PR than they are with actual solutions. They don't care about making things right. They only care about what looks good. What are you doing? Thinks he's being cute is what he's doing. One moment, folks. Try that again and I'll call security. Are you having trouble reading the teleprompter? My so-called replacement, Oswald Cobblepot, is a criminal, not a businessman. His entire history has been faked. <laughs> oh, very oh funny, Bruce. Oh, my God. No joke between friends. Security. I know exactly how to push Oz's buttons. All I see is a thief, a low-life thug who stole my life. Maybe you just aren't important enough. Everyone knows you're only Lady Arkham's. Oh, nobody's lucky, Wayne! Whoa, 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 Harvey, calm down. You're the mayor of Gotham, not the tyrant. <laughs> like you know any better, Wayne. Armed guards on every street corner? It's insane, Harvey. I beg to differ. With the children of Arkham sneaking around everywhere, those armed guards are the only thing keeping people safe. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, don't worry, I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Uh, sure. Go away. Arnold's busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. Nice trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here, and he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So unless you have something important to say, get lost! I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? <laughs> Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. No, I absolutely don't trust him. The man is psychotic. Wonderful. Well, let's try to steer clear of him in the future, shall we? You certainly do know how to beat down an unarmed man. I mean, the drug only reveals your true feelings. I am truly sorry for what happened, Oz. I never meant to hurt you so badly. I I was drugged. You? Pity me? Well, you are really living up to your campaign slogan, aren't you? Put a dent in crime. You're weak, Harvey. Letting a coin make your decisions. Give me the coin. I need... I need the result. Where do I shoot? Drop the damn coin! If you insist. No! <laughs> Is that all you got? <laughs> I didn't see a thing. Maybe you should take some time off. You certainly deserve it. It's been so long, I don't even know what time off would look like. 
Yeah, think about it. A beach, palm trees, a sky that isn't the color of sweatpants. <laughs> well, perhaps that wouldn't be so bad. Though I am having a hard time picturing you in shorts. Shorts? Never. I promise you, I will use everything at my disposal to help you. Oh. Well, sure. I mean, the silver's not going to polish itself, is it? <laughs> <clears throat> I look forward to our next dance.